Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I want to talk to you about the Tetrix Mechanum wheels. Some people say Mechanum, I'm going to say Mechanum just because that's kind of where I'm from. But it's a specialty wheel that's part of the motion category in the Tetrix ecosystem. And it's because of its a specialty wheel, I want to make sure that I cover all of the design features of this wheel versus another Mechanum wheel because not, face it, not all mechanic wheels are the same. Let's start with the anodized blue high-strength aluminum plates. Obviously, uh, it's a good-looking mechanic wheel. That's obviously important for some folks. It does have rubber rollers over Delrin cores, a machined hub with a double set screw that fits the six millimeter output shaft on a motor or an axle. It comes fully assembled, just like you see it, with nylock nuts, so it's gonna stay assembled. That's important in, in the use that, uh, either for competition or classroom. It is clearly labeled A and B because there are two types of um, mechanic wheels, either a left or a right, and we've, for convenience sake, labeled them A and B. And finally, last but not least, it's fully designed to fit the Tetrix system, so it's gonna maintain all of your Tetrix spacing. So that's what's gonna make this a really efficient wheel for you when you use your Tetrix robots. So let's talk about common uses. Uh, again, this is a specialty wheel that's specifically designed for a specialty type of drive called a holonomic drive. Now let's start with the drive. A holonomic drive basically means that the robot can move in any given direction uh, diagonally, forward, sideways, backwards without changing the orientation of the robot. In other words, you don't have to turn the robot to be able to move in a specific direction. Now, the way it can do that is because of the design of these mechanic wheels. There's two different types. There's an A side or a left hand wheel, or there is a B side uh, or the right hand wheel. And so they're both types are needed on a robot in the right combination to be able to create that type of specialty drive. So that's the main thing that you need to, from a troubleshooting standpoint, remember, you have to mount these wheels correctly in the right combination. You need two A's, two B's, or in other words, two left-hand wheels and two right-hand wheels diagonally mounted from each other in order to create that holonomic type of a drive. So that's the main thing from a troubleshooting standpoint, other than just common sense things like set screws need to be tight, make sure things are not rubbing, those type of things. So let's talk about resources. Again, because this is a specialty wheel, there are some special resources available, just like on all of our products. If you go to www.pitsco.com and look at the product page at the bottom, you'll find that resource category that has things like CAD files, in case you need to make a digital model of your robot. In this case, a special resource file that's gonna explain a little bit of the history of mechanic wheels, tell you exactly how to mount your wheels, show you a diagram of that, Everything you'll need to be able to use these successfully on your robots are part of that resource section at the bottom of the product page. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.